てしまう。Said that you were in Canada and that you kidnapped Vicky. How the hell did you get here? Huh? No, no. I'm calling the police. Before you hear my story, I have heard enough stories today to last me a lifetime. So you don't care about what happened to me? No, Ian, I don't. You lied to me. You lied to my family. You are a criminal, and frankly, I don't like being used. There's no excuse. For treating people like that, I don't care if your father's the Pope and you're on your search for the Holy Grail, and I won't be treated like that. Do you understand me? You're not angry with me. How the hell do you? I am too angry with you. You came into my room, Ian, and you were pretending you were just hiding out from the cops, and I bought it. I protected you. I believed you. <laughs> I heard about. Your wedding. I'm sorry. I oh, give you a break. You hated Jake. I didn't like him. That's right. And I'm glad that you didn't marry him. But I'm sorry that you got hurt. It must have been very painful. You're hurt. I just asked you to stop lying to me. Now show me where you're hurt. I'm all right, okay? I, I didn't come here for first aid. Oh, right. With the police from what two countries looking for you, Ian? I had to speak to you. I had to finish what I started. You're tired? You got a story for me? Well, not a story so much as a responsibility to my father. That's what this is all about. I thought you said your father was dead. That doesn't matter. I made a promise to my father, and I made a promise to myself that I would solve the mystery of his death. That's two promises. Two promises that I'm going to keep. Even if it means breaking the law. I'm not a, a criminal. Vicky could have died, Ian. I'm telling you, I had nothing to do with her being shot. If you hadn't taken her to the cave, she never would have been shot. No, she went. It's a long story, okay? I was about to let her go, and then her husband came in with the police. The newscast said that Grant was aiming at you, and that Vicky somehow got in the way. That's possible. I, I didn't see him shoot, so I... Is that how you got hurt? No, this... This happened at the docks. Look, it, it doesn't matter. You say it doesn't matter. Rachel respected you, and you lied to her. You lied to all of us. And now, you've got everyone from the FBI to Interpol looking for you. You're hurt, you're running... Look, you don't understand. No, I don't, and I really don't care. I need you. I need you to. You don't know my father. So close, Paulina. Carl Hutchins has the answer. I know he does. Carl Hutchins? You mean the rumor is true? That's why I'm here. Carl Hutchins is this a base city. Paulina? Please. Please don't tell her I'm here. Don't you do it to me again. My life depends on your silence. Please. Please. Here I heard voices. That was just uh, me banging at the moon. Are you all right? No, man, I'm not all right. I don't think I'm ever going to be all right again. Look, that's just tonight. And tomorrow, well, it might be worse, but look, in a month or two, what you did was so brave. It's going to help you in the end that you stood up for yourself. Believe me. I wanted it to work. I know. I wanted the things he kept saying. I wanted the babies and the life together. I wanted it so badly that I couldn't see what he was doing. How could I be so stupid? Why are you blaming yourself for, for trusting him? Jake is a liar. What is it? I have to get away from here. Let's go back inside. No, you don't understand. I have to get 
far away. I, I have to get away from Jake. And, and just please help me. I gotta get I, out of here. I understand. All find you out here. You never saw me here. I just came to tell you I was all right. So tell me what happened. I don't have time. Oh, come on. What happened in the cave in Canada? And why did the senator shoot his wife? I have to get out of here before Mrs. Corey gets back. Listen, I helped you get out of Ryan's office before the police got there. I took the rap for you. You told me you were going to tell the police a story. I did, but they didn't believe it. So what? You got arrested? I got a suspended sentence. I only spent one night in jail, though. They put you in jail? Oh, it wasn't all that bad. Damn it. I should never have left you alone. I never meant for you to get into trouble. I'm sorry. Uh, listen, uh, it's not all your fault, okay? I did my share of breaking and entering, too. Whatever you did, you did it for me. Yes, but you didn't ask me to come to Bay City. I wanted to. Shh, that's where it's going. Oh, quick! Close the cupboard. What? Just Don't... close the lid. Is that you, Maggie? Oh, yeah. I heard voices. Uh, yeah, that was me. I was vocalizing. I do it all the time before I swim. It helps the lungs. Have you seen anything suspicious or anyone? No, no. Why? Well, because we just caught a reporter posing as a groundskeeper. You're kidding. No, I'm not. So Rachel's decided to beef up security. Uh, how do you mean? What I mean, my dear, is that the entire estate is going to be under 24-hour surveillance. Any movement on or off the property will be very carefully scrutinized. So I think perhaps you'd better come inside because we want to lock up the house. Wait a minute. I didn't get a chance to take a dip in the pool. It's very late, isn't it? Well, just give me five minutes, please, Iris. Well, hurry up, for heaven's sake. Okay. I want the full family's cooperation on this. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You cannot leave tonight. I'll have to find a way. Well, you can't risk it. I have to get out of here now. I have a better idea, okay? Come on. Come on! Don't you trust me? Will you please trust me? Come on. This is a stupid idea. No, it's a perfect idea. The wine cellar's on the other side, so no one comes down here. How do you know? Because I'm perfect at underground situations. I hang out here all the time. All right, well, I'll stay here for a few hours, and I'll leave when everybody goes to sleep. You can't. That's when the security's going to be the tightest. I set up the security system. I know how to get past it. I, why risk it, though? I think you should really wait till the Corey stockholder meeting is finished tomorrow. I mean, they'll ease up on the security. Then what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Well, I'll bring you food and stuff. Come on, let me take care of you. You do the same for me. All right, just for tonight. Great, because we have a lot of catching up to do. You owe me a lot of explanations, big guy. What are you talking about? Oh, for starters, like why you come back to Bay City when you know they have a manhunt for you? I still have to get the third key, the key that Carl Hutchins has. Well, why are you at the Corey's thing? You already have Matt Corey's key. Unless there is another reason, like Paulina. Admit it, you've got a thing for Paulina. Be quiet. You know, at first I thought you had a thing for Amanda when you took her to that party, but no, I'm sure you have out the hots for Paulina. You're definitely cracked. Well, take my advice, okay? If you want her, go after her now. Make your move. Well, just drop it, will you? I think Paulina has the hots for you, too. Paulina is gone. Where? She had to get away from Jake. Oh, so you have talked to her. Now it makes sense. You should have seen her at the wedding, though. Oh, unbelievable, the way she rabbit-punched Jake. What a fist! I told her that she was making a big mistake. You care about her, don't you? Why won't you go after her? Why don't you mind your own business? Listen, Ian, I just think that you need someone in your life right now. That sounds strange coming from you. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, I, I admit it. At one point in my life, I wanted you all for myself, but now I can see that just won't work. You can say that now, can you? Yes. Well, listen, you're just way too old for me. And don't say I told you so because it sounds really obnoxious. But we're just too much alike, you know? We'd end up driving each other up the wall. And we have different needs, like you need someone to settle you down and I need someone to just let me be free. And you've found the perfect partners, both of us. Well, <laughs> mine, anyway. You sort of met someone. Who? A guy. A guy your own age? Well, yeah. Well, well n close, not really, but... The point is that he's into music, and when we sing together, we are totally amazing. Well, I'm, I'm glad you found yourself a boyfriend. Well, we're not a couple yet, but we will be, just like you and Paulina. Hey, do you want me to give her a good word on you? Listen, just drop it. I don't need somebody in my life right now. Oh, right, right. I understand. I totally understand. You know, you've got to finish your father's work. I just don't think your father would want you to be lonely. You want to do something for me? Anything. Go get me some food. <sighs> Men. <sighs> All the same. Food before feelings. I cannot stay here. Rachel's home and Iris is here, too. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Yes. Yeah, so what's the story? Where do you think the third key is? You just go up to bed, all right? Well, the way I figure it is, you know, Ryan couldn't possibly have the key because his father's still alive. So that leads us to one solution. We have got to get to Kara. I don't want you getting mixed up in this again. Well, Ryan's father is going to expect you to go over there, right? So I figure that I can just go over and talk to Carl myself, sweet talking. You stay away from Carl. He's a dangerous man. He's killed before, and I'm not going to let that happen again. What's this? What happened to my big breakfast? Oh, Rachel ate it. What? Oh, don't even ask. It's a long story. You see, I was trying to get down here, but every time I came down, or even tried to, someone was coming. It doesn't so... matter. It doesn't matter, okay? Okay. What? What's that? Is that a dress you're wearing? Very funny, Ian. Very funny. I had to make a Corey appearance, but I did find out something very important. Uh-huh. What? They're making you a board member. I'm serious, Ian. Please, will you listen? I'm listening. I'm Thank listening. You. Thank you. No. Carl Hutchins is back. See? I told you it was important. We have to get out of here. No. We... You, you can't. We can't. No, we have to. Uh, no. Uh, are you nuts? Just watch me. Carl Hutchins owes me. Now, it's payback time. <sighs> You can't do this. You can't. Because if you go upstairs, the only thing that you're going to be collecting is a ticket to jail. Didn't you hear me, Ian? Didn't you? Captain Cooper's having Carl watched day and night. I heard you the first time, okay? Well, fine, but the security is just waiting for something to happen around here. There, I will have to be very careful. <sighs> Ian, listen. I think I should go over to Carl Hutchins' house, okay? No. And I'll talk to no. him. I'll do it. No, 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 no. You've done enough already. All right, just back off. Well, excuse me, but who was the one who came through for you every time you needed it? Me. And if it weren't for me, you'd be in jail right now. You know that. You're right. You've been a great friend, and I thank you very much. Uh, it, it was nothing, but... No, really, we've got to figure out how to get you out of here. So my strategy is that we go through the terrace, then the gardens, and then to the stables. What do you think? I think you're getting too good at this. Freeze! Freeze! The both of you. Damn you! Stop, Maggie! Uh, well, You're not taking me in. And this little girl is gonna make sure of that. Uh, come on, Rain. This girl's been helping you out for weeks. No way are you gonna hurt her. Ian, come on. I said shut up, Maggie! This is not a game! He's not kidding, Captain. He's really hurting me. Right, I'm gonna give you three seconds to let the girl go. That would make you a fool, because I can break her neck in two. It will leave me over. Do whatever he says is right. Give it up, pal. The place is surrounded. There is nowhere to go. 
All they're gonna find is two dead bodies, mine and hers. Ian, all I wanted to do was be your friend. But that was your first mistake, little girl. What makes you think I'd be interested in you? <gasps> Listen, Captain, I'm really sorry for screwing things up. Just get me out of here. This is a mistake of your life, Rain. Well, Believe that, me, that is my problem. Now, you call your man, and you tell him to back off. I said, call! This is Cooper. We got a hostage situation here. I want you to clear the driveway. You tell them I'm taking the car in the driveway and I'm taking the Corey kids with me. Anybody tries to stop me, they shoot her first. Tell them. Tell them! The purpose taking a hostage with them. Keep the driveway clear until you hear further orders and let them pass. Hold on. Now put your gun down at my feet. Slowly. Put it down. Put it down. That's good. Move back. Back up. We gotta go now, okay? Make sure your men do as you instructed them. Otherwise, Rachel Corey's gonna be wearing black for months. Say goodbye to the office now, Maggie. Stop it, Grandma, or I'm sorry. To get off the property, I want Eckert Mahoney on their tail. Miller, I want you to act as backup. But listen, if you guys lose them, I'm gonna have your badges. You got that? And be careful. This guy is dangerous. All right, this is it for you, Maggie. Get out. But I want to talk. I mean, back there, I thought that. I don't care what you thought. This is the end of the line. The cops are right behind us now. Get out. I don't care, Ian. That was really scary. That policeman would have shot you if I wasn't there. What are you doing? What am I doing? I asked you to get out of the car. Now get out of the car. No, not until you tell me what you you're do doing. You do as I tell you, or I will break your neck. And then you stay. Oh, what am I, a dog? I'm not kidding. You hide your face so you can't see where I'm going. 